registered dietitian nutritionist and certified yoga instructor. Today, happy to share with you five holiday eating tips, or what I like to call how to have your cake and eat it too. Because at the end of the day, I feel like that's what we all want. We don't want to overindulge to the point where we feel disgusting and feel bad. And we also don't want to feel like a food scrooge and that the beauty and the bounty of the holiday season is just gone and we don't get to enjoy it. So, my first tip is slow down to savor. Whatever you eat, eat it with a presence and a speed and awareness that allows you to actually taste and enjoy the food. Too often, we go into a place of autopilot and we're not even aware of the food that we're eating, even if they're our favorite foods. Tip number two. your body's natural, powerful metabolism and digestion by simply taking three breaths before you begin to eat. Also, during your meal, pause to take in the experience of the eating and the environment as well as the food itself. Tip number three, forget about willpower. As a dietitian, I consider willpower and dieting to be in the same category of stuff that sounds good and simply does not work. If you are um, finding yourself overeating, what that is often a lack of is not enough nutrition, not enough presence, eating too quickly, um, not having enough pleasure in your diet or your meal. And those are the things that need to be addressed, not the other way around. Tip number four, reframe your food beliefs. What I've often seen is people have a powerful body awareness, such as something that doesn't work. And then they make a rule around it, such as, I will never eat sugar. And while that can work for a small percentage of people, for most people, it's going to feel too restrictive and too much like a rule, and you'll turn into a teenager and not want to follow the own rule that you made for, for yourself. So instead, I encourage food awarenesses. Take what you've learned about yourself and frame it like this. When I eat sugar, for example, I often go on an emotional roller coaster. When we State it as an awareness instead of a rule, it creates a choice point, and we can decide if we want to do it or if we don't. And generally speaking, awarenesses empower food feels good. My last and final tip for the holiday season is that simply to remember, no matter what you eat or don't eat, you are not broken. You cannot be broken if you receive it. I hope these tips were helpful for you. If you would like a copy of them, there's a link to a free PDF below. And from my heart to yours, I wish you a very happy.